And how do you balance making music and balancing your content? It's like really hard for me to do, honestly. Yeah. Um, my time management at this point, especially because I do, I don't have like a one day job and then do the music thing. Like for me, my days are just so scattered and doing like so many things at once. Um, that is sometimes really hard to schedule the time in a very productive way <laughs> to yeah. feel productive and in, in that sense of making both music and content. And if I'm being completely honest with you right now, I feel as though more of my time has been spent making content than making actually actual music right now. And I want to be able to balance that out in a better way um, at the moment and for the long run. Um, but as I still figure certain things out um, and plus, I'm um, adding on a few different jobs as well. Uh, I would say, um, like, well, well, what I do <laughs> when I do it right now is schedule, like I put very, um, I have a day scheduled for YouTube basically. So like mm. I'll do my YouTube and then while I, when I film YouTube, I usually do a few TikToks so I can like schedule them or post them a few days later. Yeah. And then I'll have like a day of, working on commissions and working on my own music. So it's sort of split it up into days and then like admin work I'll do on another day. Um, I don't do it by the hour really, but I try to just sp like uh, send my energy in very specific. Yeah. So you, um, it sounds like you, you batch work on everything. So like you'll, if you're working on videos, you'll shoot a bunch of videos, a bunch of TikToks all at once. If you're doing yeah. music, you might just sit down and do a bunch of music stuff at once. You're not like bouncing between them all like a crazy person. I try, but I totally still bounce. <laughs> yeah. Like if it came <laughs> off, like I don't do that. Like, I'm sorry. I do. I do bounce. Like I try to, to have it all yeah. <laughs> schedule up, but there's a lot of times where I'll just like do a commission. And then I'm like, oh, I have some time. Like I'll film a TikTok actually too. And then I kind of like end up being a little crazy, but yeah, I don't know. How do you, how do you do it? Curious. So for the longest time, it's just, I, I've just been insanely busy every day. So I, I think I, if you include everything that I work on, I probably work like 80 hours a week or something. So it's been, it's been a lot. But what I've been doing recently in the past, I don't know, six months that have helped a lot is, is that batch creation. So when yeah. I sit down, like I think last week I sat down to work on YouTube videos and I shot five YouTube videos and five videos for my courses just in one sitting. Oh, so I spent like an hour and a half just filming. And then a few days later, or basically like throughout the next week, whenever I had time, I could hop in and edit those videos. And I might edit a few at once. And then a few days later, edit the next one. And so it's like yeah. getting into the mindset of like filming and making content is kind of different from the mindset of editing. And that's different from the mindset of like Absolutely. making so thumbnails good. and um, I know there's so much that goes into just YouTube itself. Yeah. That's insane. You do. I've never done that. I've only done one YouTube video at a time just because that's such a big project for me. I don't know. Like editing, yeah. of course, is kind of like sometimes mindless and you're just kind of like doodle -doo -doo, <laughs> editing the cuts out. But when you're talking about, I don't know, a specific thing, I feel like I only have like one thing, one topic in me at a time. And I'm just like, yeah. I'll go off and then. Like, the, okay, edit, like the way that the thing that made that possible was that I, I started using a tool called ClickUp. It's like a free task scheduling tool. And so Ooh. whenever I think of a YouTube idea, mm -hmm. I just write it in there and I'll sit down once a week and I'll just brainstorm a bunch of video ideas um, based on comments, based on what, what I'm working on. And then I will um, I'll put some notes in each one. And that way, when I'm in like a filming mood, and I have time to shoot a video, I'll just hop in and I'll try to bang out a few of them at once. Because since, since I've already thought of them, um, it's like they're just waiting for me to film. Um, right. Prior to that, really smart. <laughs> it was one at a time, like I'd film and then I would, um, like I come with an idea, I'd film it and then I would edit it and then I would make the thumbnail and then I would make the title and upload it. So now it's just like brainstorm ideas, film a bunch of stuff, later edit a bunch of stuff, later thumbnail and title a bunch of stuff. And that- Right. I did the same thing with, with social media now, um, starting this year, like TikToks, I'll sit down and just make like five. Yeah. Um, that seems to help. <laughs> it does. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's the better 
way to do it or I don't know, whatever works for you. I feel like that would be a better way for me personally to, to get it done uh, for sure. Um, yeah, but you I also try, try. upload a lot more YouTube. You, you upload to YouTube a lot. I try. <laughs> I, yeah. I, the <laughs> so the goal is uh, twice a week. Um, yeah. But I think you, you do like once a week though, don't you? I was doing once a week for a while and then I've, I've, uh, I do two, uh, every two weeks now. Okay. <laughs> Just I'm yeah. trying to, I don't know, maybe I'll get back up there, but I, I've started like the Patreon too. And then like, I'm trying to do reels and the, the TikToks and stuff as you know, we all are, um, yeah. Maybe I'll get back up there once I can manage my time a little better, but as of right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess now that we're talking about YouTube, like, you, you have 2,200 subscribers on YouTube. So, like, yeah. what was the journey of growing your channel? And, like, what do you found helped the most? Like, how long has all this taken you to grow and all that? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. This So, that was a story. But, basically, I had a YouTube channel before so i i changed my artist name to links like two years like a year ago mm. and so i had another you I, I used to go under my legal name which is sarah kendall and I, all my music was under there i had to undergo an artist name change <laughs> and in at the time i did it youtube didn't allow you to transfer your subscribers over so uh. um as an independent artist so I had to start over on YouTube uh, like a year ago or whatever, whenever I started, it might've been a year or two ago. Um, but uh, I've, I uploaded so much more than I ever uploaded on my, my initial channel. I had 10 videos on my, my first channel um, and they were all performance, all originals and covers and stuff. It was very performance based. Um, so, starting kind of over and uploading much more often the growth i'm still quite small but the growth has been a lot so much faster yeah um because i had my other other channel for like seven years and i think i was at about the same amount of subscribers that i'm at now um mm -hmm. and in my new channel yeah and you so, said that was like a year ago you you switched over a little more than a year yeah probably like a year and a half ago i started this channel growing to like two th two thousand plus subscribers in a in a year and a half is like actually quite good. A lot of people don't realize that because they see like Peter McKinnon going from like several thousand to several million in a year. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all over the place. I feel like consistency, like definitely uploading at least once a week, definitely helped that. Um, yeah. When I first started, like you know, they had, and doing it on like the same days, uploading on the same um, consistent schedule really helps growth on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm, I in it for, for the long run. I love doing YouTube. Um, and I think it really, um, helps build that. Like it's a very key part into, um, building community in, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I think so too. YouTube, like it's, there's no way to shortcut it. Like yeah. a lot of social media platforms, there's some way you can kind of like pay to play, like especially Facebook, right? You can run a page oh like Oh my gosh, yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> YouTube, like, they purposefully exclude all, like, the ad stuff. So, like, you can run ads on your YouTube videos, but you can't get monetized from running ads on YouTube ads. They specifically write, like, any watch hours you've gained from YouTube ads won't count towards your monetization requirements uh -huh. channel. So, like, they made it impossible to game, I think. But the, the cool thing is, like, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to grow it, but I found that the, like, quality of people you get are, like, fantastic like yeah it's because how first of all i'm like how do you people even find me like it's it's really cool like you know that i don't know the algorithms are clearly you know reaching the right people yeah. and the videos are reaching people who need it so youtube does that really well for you and that's i'm so grateful for that 